Everybody, it's Michelle again. Yes, I'm trying to film the intro to this video, but I guess it's been a while since I've actually uh, created some content and as usual, I forgot how to talk. So welcome to today's Sephora haul for sure. So I need to preface this video by saying I did not purchase all of this stuff all in one go. In fact, I believe everything I'm going to show you today, I I purchased, you know, one here, one there, one here, one there, and it took me pretty much all of last year to buy all of these goodies from Sephora. Okay, so we're talking about fragrances. So first off, I'm gonna show you the one that I have been wanting for forever and a day since it launched. This is the Tom Ford Jasmine Rouge, and this is the Eau du Parfum 50 milliliters. So look how gorgeous the box is, the outer packaging. I love this. So as I said, uh, this is a sticker on the front. I'm not sure if it's a metal sticker or just a foil sticker. I love that it says, has the insignia of Tom Ford on the top. The bottle, I believe on the website, said it was inspired by, uh, Tom Ford said, um, the actual chess pieces. So it does look like a chess piece. It's really pretty. All right, so the next fragrance I have, I can't talk today, is by none other than Coco Chanel. And this is Gabrielle the Essence Eau de Parfum. This smells incredible. Um, if you do not like super strong scents, you won't like this. Although the original Gabrielle by Chanel, they have two. One is a lighter version, a very lighter scent. It's, I believe they both have jasmine in them, but one is a very light sort of airy scent of jasmine and this one is more of a heavier nighttime special occasion type scent although i wear it going to the grocery store getting the mail you know watching tv whatever it, it the this scent is a everyday 24 hour a day scent for me it's absolutely incredible. It also has the scent of jasmine, but between the Tom Ford and this one, there's another floral scent that's in there. They're both, they both have the scent of jasmine, but the, they executed each of them much differently and it smells incredible. Like a nosebleed, so the first one I'm going to talk about is the Dior Forever Skin Glow. 24 hour wear, radiant foundation, perfection, hydration, concentrated floral skincare with sunscreen, broad spectrum SPF 15. So I'm in the shade 1W. I mean, the color is spot on for me. This is 1W, I believe. Yes, 1W. So this is uh, fair to light with yellow undertones, which is perfect for me. I love this. I've heard many, many people talk about this foundation. I think I purchased this. Maybe I did get this in January or February. Um, I think I got this and the powder I'm gonna talk about. But this is really good. It smells, oh, it smells amazing. The next product I got, I got last year and TikTok did make me buy this. And I think they made half of TikTok buy this product because there was a video 
that went completely viral. This thing is like witchcraft. It really, really is. The name of the product is called Peter Thomas Roth Firm X Eye Temporary Eye Tightener. And the box says instantly tightens, firms, and smooths the appearance of crow's feet, fine lines, and deep wrinkles around the eye area, diminishes under eye puffiness for all skin types. I had a really hard time getting it. I think I actually got it around June or July of last year, and I have been using it at least once a week. I like getting a smaller size, that way it doesn't sit on my vanity or goes bad, because I can repurchase it, especially since I had never tried this product before. I wanted to make sure I loved it. That's why I didn't go for the big giant size. Um, I wanted to try this one. This is 30 milliliters, one full ounce. It's one of those products. It's a temporary eye tightener or filler. What it is, is it you put it underneath your eye and I even put it like right here between my eyes or I will put it sometimes right here on my laugh lines. Underneath my eye, it that's where you really see the difference. Think of it like an eye cream and I just pat it on with my ring finger, but right here is where you are going to see the biggest difference. It says to let the product dry for five minutes and in the TikTok video showing you how it works and it really is like a magic spell. It looks incredible. I've tried it on my husband. It looks good. Yes, I highly recommend the Peter Thomas Roth Instant Firm Eye Temporary Eye Tightener. It's really good. I love it. You'll love it too. All right. So the next product that TikTok made me buy is by Givenchy. And this is the Givenchy Prisme Libre Matte Finish and Enhanced Radiance Loose Powder 4-in-1 Harmony. And this is the in the shade number one Mousseline Pastel. So this is what the box looks like. So if you've been a subscriber of my channel for quite a while, you know I love the Guerlain Meteorites Pearls. This is a finishing powder. So with the Guerlain Meteorites, they are in a pearl form and they have, mm, <sighs> I love the smell of violets and this gets me every time. <sighs> smells so good. So anyway, so as you can see, they're all pastel colors. They have lavender, pink, yellow, a buttery yellow, a white, and a green. So when you swir swirl, when you swirl your brush in these pearls, that is enough. One swirl, and then I sort of just, you know, buff it all over my face, and it buffs in my blush, my foundation, my bronzer, and it just sort of blends everything together so it doesn't look so hard. When I saw on TikTok that everybody was going crazy for the, the Givenchy Prisme Libre, I was like, oh my God, those look like my uh, Guerlain Meteorites Pearls. So as you can see, it is the pastel lavender, the pastel green, it has the pastel pink and the pastel blue. So there's lavender, pink, blue, and green. It smells incredible. If you're not a fan of smell, you know, scents, then you probably won't like this. This isn't as strong a scent as the Guerlain Meteorites, but it's definitely, it just smells expensive. It smells really, really good. I love this because it really brightens underneath my eye. Uh, you can see it's a very finely milled powder. I use a fair to light yellow base concealer under my eye. And then when I got this, I immediately tried it because I was so excited to see because everyone was going crazy over this powder. I'm like, this has to be magical. So I put my concealers on and I patted it out with my finger and then went over it with the beauty blender. And then I got a really fluffy, 
uh, blender brush, eyeshadow brush, poured it in the cap, spun it around so all the colors combined, and I put it underneath, and I have it on today, and I can see I really like it bright under my eye, but it doesn't make it so bright that there's a huge difference between my foundation and my concealer. It definitely brightens everything up. So I love how it hasn't darkened up my concealer. It hasn't creased. Um, usually by now it'll start creasing on the inner corner of my eye. And I can tell in the monitor, it looks really good. I love how it still looks fresh. It hasn't done anything funky with my concealer it's really nice if you want to use matte foundations tinted sunscreens or um, dewy foundations it works really well i've tried it with two or three different finishes of foundation and it looks amazing i love this and it's totally worth the price tag it's incredible before i had purchased the prisme libre I repurchased these two powders because this is my tried and true Too Faced Born This Way translucent setting powder. Now you'll have to tell me in the comments or when I go to edit this video, I will go ahead and look online. But I believe is Sephora no longer carrying the Born This Way translucent powder um, because I mean, I purchased this powder like last year in October or November, and I had a hard time finding it. In fact, I found it discounted heavily or off Saks Fifth Avenue, I think is what it's called. I got it for like $14.99 and I think it was regularly, what, $39 or something like that? I got it for $14.99. I almost bought two of them and thank goodness I didn't because I ended up buying another powder after this one because I couldn't find this one. So I had to buy, I love the Hourglass uh, Veil Translucent Setting Powder as well. It sits well underneath my eye. It's not as brightening. It's bright, but it's not as brightening as this one. So this is great for those of you who do not like it super bright underneath the eye. This works really well too. Then I got this little guy during the spring sale. And this is by Natasha Denona. And you know what a big fan of Natasha Denona I am. I love her eyeshadows. So this is a little mini palette and this is the Natasha Denona mini nude palette. So it has five eyeshadows. This is, these little palettes are great for traveling or if you go away for the weekend. These are great because they don't take up much room and uh, you could throw them in your purse or in your makeup bag. This is really pretty. This is a gorgeous, beautiful colors, straight up my street. These metallic and pearlescent shades are kick-ass. They are beautiful. This brown, oh, I have seen photos, um, advert photos of this palette, and they are incredible. So I can't wait to use this. I almost used it today, but I wanted to leave it nice and beautiful for you but these are really inexpensive they're only 25 dollars, and if you wait till the spring sale or the holiday sale you can get you know 10 15 or 20 percent off you know they're curated just perfectly where they all go well together i love it they're just incredible so anyway these next products i'm going to show you are Again, Tom Ford, they're quite pricey. I did not buy them all in one go. They, it took me about a year and three months, a year and four months to purchase all of these. And I haven't showed them to you, I don't think, because I was planning on doing a lip swatch video. And like I said, I've had these on my wish list for quite some time. And 
I quit filming for six to eight months and they just sort of stayed collected. I did rummage through a couple of them, but most of them are completely brand new. These are the full size Tom Ford lipsticks. These are the lip color and lip color mattes. This is uh, from the Tom Ford Lips and Boys collection, I think. And this is a deluxe size sample that I got from Sephora. So let's start with the two little guys and then we'll move on to the full size. So this is a deluxe size sample. This is the Tom Ford lip color in number three, Casablanca. And I have two other deluxe size samples in Casablanca, which is probably equal to one full size lipstick. And I love this shade. This is a great everyday color. I love this guy. You know, as you can see with the Natasha Denota mini nude palette, you know, this would be a great lipstick for that palette. It's absolutely incredible. So then we have, this is the Tom Ford lip color in number 80, Impassioned. So this is like a mini clutch purse size. This is gorgeous. This is a metallic um red it looks actually really good on the lips if you wear um if you fill in your lips completely with a red liner and put this like just in the center and feather it out it looks incredible i love it all right so this next one is uh tom ford lip color and number four indian rose this one i don't think i've tried yet but this is beautiful. It's a little bit warmer everyday type uh, nude. It's beautiful. It, it would look great on many skin tones. It's gorgeous. Yep, I love that one. And then this is Tom Ford Lip Color in 508 Primal. This is really pretty. This is more of a pinky nude. And when I first purchased this, I thought it was going to be a little bit darker. Um, but that's okay. It would look great this spring with a, you know, sort of a corally pinky eye as well. Sort of that monotone look. I don't know if you've seen that where the eyes, the cheeks, and the lips are all the same color. And if you're thinking, well, oh, I don't have a blush that's this color. You can always take, use the back of the lipstick and use it on your cheeks as a cream blush, or you can take your eyeshadow that you're putting on your eyes and put one of the colors on your cheeks. And the next one I have is, this is Lip Color Matte, and this is in number 08 Velvet Cherry. And I have been wanting this one forever. So this is a beautiful, beautiful dark red. Look how gorgeous that is gorgeous. So I have used it a few times. As you can see, I've used it on the back. Love that one. Oh, it looks incredible on number zero one Spanish pink. And I've had this one before. This is gorgeous. This is a warmer, very peachy nude. And I've had this one before and I loved it. So I decided to repurchase it again. It's been a number of years since I've had that one. And then the last one is number 14. This is the regular lip color formula in Sable Smoke. This one is probably not for everyone. This is definitely a warmer nude. It's more of an orangey nude. So I think I did swatch it. Oh yeah, it's really pretty. You know, these lipsticks are incredible. I know this shade is not for everyone because it's more of an orangey nude, but it really looks good like with a bronzy eye or a dark black smoky eye. It really looks incredible with a smoky metallic eye and this beautiful orangey nude lip. It looks amazing. So enough rambling, everybody. I'm going to go. I'm going to go eat because I haven't eaten today. Thank you so much for sticking around this long. I'm glad you stuck it out this far. If you love this video or if you love my content in general, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to 
hit the like button and subscribe for more of my videos in the future. I thank you for watching everyone. I love you and I will see you in the next one. All right. See you later, everyone. Ciao. Bye-bye.